Hello ladies and gents, boys and girls around the world, it's Monkey Mid here again for another roundup of Kiss of Bootlegs. Uh, sorry I haven't been around for a little while, but I uh, don't know, time seems to whiz by as you get older. Um, I know when I was a kid growing up I was thinking, God, I wish time would just quickly whiz by when I'm doing exams and shitty things like that. But as you get older, time whizzes by. Grim Reapers waiting round the corner. <laughs> Anyway, guys, uh, let's crack on. Um, I've got a few uh, Kiss bootlegs here. Not the most interesting ones, uh, but you might find them interesting. So hopefully I'll be uh, able to entertain you with what I've got. Uh, but before we start on the bootlegs, I'll just quickly, very quickly, just show you a counterfeit, which I have shown you before. And it's oh, this one. Here we go, Kiss Hotter Than Hell. Uh, I've shown you this one before, a couple of episodes before. Uh, it was a red vinyl one. Uh, the reason why I bought the red one was because, uh, obviously, the pie... UK Pie Issues came out in red vinyl back in 77. Uh, I think they've gone way over the price now. It's like over £100 or something like that for a copy. You might be able to get one cheaper. Uh, so that's why I bought the red vinyl one. But this is a different colour. Haha, <laughs> shall I show you? Here we go. We have here a Hotter Than Hell, counterfeit Hotter Than Hell, um, in clear vinyl. There we go. Um, I don't normally buy these counterfeit albums, um, but as I said, you, I bought the red one because of the pie uh, red vinyl, and I bought this one because I quite like clear vinyls. You don't get many bootleg or counterfeit albums in clear vinyl, um, but this one obviously comes in red, comes in clear, also comes in green, blue, orange, pink, red, polka dot blue, pink, one, that, that, what, that, whatever. Okay, there's a few colours to get. I don't know what they are. I know there's a few. But I just fancied the clear one for a change. There is, comes with a poster, as per usual. I won't bother showing you the poster. Oh, shall I show you the poster? Oh, I'll show you the poster. Otherwise, you're gonna, I'm going to get emails saying, oh, you didn't show us the poster for Hot One Hell. There we go. Okay. Okay. So, you guys have seen this before, I'm sure. You guys who collect Kiss vinyl will have seen Hotter Than Hell's poster and uh, the counterfeit versions, which you can still... Get on um, eBay if you have a look around. Oh, eBay selling counterfeit. Who would have thought? Hey. Anyway, let's move on to the um, uh, bootleg albums. Uh, first one, here we go. Kiss, uh, April Fool. Okay, now this one, uh, it's, it's a rehash. I nearly didn't buy this because it's a rehash of Cleveland 74, which is the radio broadcast. Um, I only bought this because I quite like the packaging on this one. It's nice. But I don't want to start buying bootleg albums I, um, if, if it's a, a concept that I've got or heard before many a times. I know a lot of, a lot of times for you guys out there, it's also about the packaging. Yes, of course it's about the packaging as well. But sometimes I don't want to pay like 50, 60, 70 pounds for just a bit of cardboard and maybe a poster or something uh, from a rehash. Uh, but this one was quite reasonable, okay? This was under 30 pounds. Um, so it's Cleveland 74. They do this in uh, three other different picture covers. Obviously, this is the ace one. You've got the Gene, Paul, and Peter, and they would be the same photo session as this one, which is, is it late 73, early 74 photo session? You guys know uh, what it's all about. Uh, tell me what it is. But it, yeah, I, this photo session is quite, uh, quite a famous one. Anyway, here we go. That's the back. Uh, which is not quite the right picture because that's obviously a 75 picture on the back. Um, but hey ho, there you go. Uh, it's got Juice, Strutter, Colgin, She, Side Two's Firehouse, Nothing to Lose, 100,000 Years, and Black Diamond. Okay, I'll show you the inside of this one, uh, which is the reason why I bought it. Okay, um, again, I think these might come in different colours. I got the white vinyl one. Okay. And that's the other side. Uh, a nice label. I like it when um, bootleggers put a bit, bit of effort into producing a nice label. Okay. And it also comes with an inner sleeve, which is very nice. There we go. An inner sleeve. I don't normally put the record in the inner sleeve because it might cause a bit of ring wear. Being a bit of a geek here, but you guys out there in geek land know what I'm talking about. And that's the other side. So obviously that is the one here. That's the cover they use. And these are the other pictures for the other three versions of this Cleveland 74 album. Okay, there we go. And it doesn't end there. 
Okay, we also have the poster, which of course I'll be putting up a bit later with a bit of blue tack and sellotape. There we go. There's the poster. Again, it's uh, not the right uh, era. It's a 75 picture, obviously, but uh, oh, hey-ho, who cares? So that is April Fool's, okay? Uh, if you haven't got Cleveland 74, yeah, you definitely want to get it. Uh, if you have Cleveland 74, you might uh, consider buying it, but hopefully uh, what I've shown you uh, will make up your mind whether you have this or not in your collection, okay? I'm certainly not going to buy all, all four of them. Uh, one's enough for me, uh, so... There you go, April Fools. Next up we have again, okay, this is uh, Kiss, um, more uh, Wicked Kisses, okay. Uh, this is basically a collection of demos uh, and stuff, uh, studio stuff that was never released or unreleased tracks. Again, I've heard them all before. I'll give you a quick uh, track listing of it. Uh, Bad Bad Lovin', uh, don't you hesitate, love is blind, stop, look, listen, keep me waiting, uh, Lita, love bites, acrobat, love it, oh, do you know what, you've heard it all, you've heard all of these songs, okay, they're on various demo CDs or demos from elsewhere, so, but I bought this because I actually really like this picture, I like, I like this photo session, okay, um, so that's the reason why I bought it, so that's the front, that's the back, okay, uh, there's two versions of this. Okay, this, the one that I've got here, is the picture disc version, okay? There we go. That's quite nice. Yeah, I don't know about that side. It's just, it's like someone's just got a picture from anywhere and just stuck it on there. At least that looks like, on side one, a bit more effort has been, or a bit more thought has been put into that one, okay? There you go. Okay. Uh, the second version I was talking about, uh, so it's the same record, More Wicked Kisses. Um, it actually comes, oh, let me just get this back in. What have I got in here? Oh no, nothing in that. No. Yeah. Oh, it the other version of this is, uh, it's a gatefold and it uh, comes in a coloured vinyl. I think it's white, I'm not 100% sure. But when you open the gatefold up, uh, the destroyer um, before them from the destroyer album pops up. Okay, so it's like a pop-up thing. You remember as a kid when you had those pop-up books. So when you open up the gatefold, there's a pop-up of destroyer before them. Okay, which is really nice. You know, but uh, I decided to go for this version. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Okay, here we have Kiss, um, Black Diamond. Okay, um, now this is not uh, strictly a bootleg. It's uh, semi-official. And it's basically uh, the Memphis 74 gig. Now, the exact date for this one is, yeah, the 18th of April 74. And again, do you know what? Heard it before, had it on a bootleg CD. I still got it. I got it on another album, maybe. We've heard this many a times, Memphis 74. But again, what I liked about this was this picture. Uh, I don't think I've seen this picture before. Um, and it, it was just unusual. Uh, so hence I bought it. And for under £20, it's not a lot of money, really. Uh, this one you can probably get on eBay. Uh, have a look for it. Uh, so it's Memphis 74 FM radio broadcast. Sounds a bit wobbly. I think it's taken from a master tape or some cassette. And it just sounds a little bit underwater kind of thing. So there you go. Memphis. Nice to back. I like that little picture there. Nice little uh, photo shot there. Photo shoot. There you go. Uh, nothing special on the inside, it's just standard black vinyl, boring labels, there you go, um, there you go, so nothing overly interesting, and again if you haven't got Memphis 74, or have not heard of Memphis 74 on any format, you might want to buy this, if you have got another format, mm, hopefully I can make, make up your mind for you, there you go, so that's Memphis 74, right, moving on, oh. Okay, uh, first I drink, then I smoke. Again, demos, okay, the demos, unreleased tracks. Uh, I'll just quickly read it out to you. Uh, Don't You Hesitate, God of Thunder, sung by Paul Stanley, which is on a box set, wasn't it? A Kiss box set many years ago. Uh, it Ain't the City, Smoke That Burns You, Love Is All Right, Bad Bad Loving, Man of a Thousand Faces, Don't Want Your Romance, uh, Side Two's Burning Up the Fever, Rock and Rolls Royce, Mad Dog, Night, Night Fly. 
I'm a star howling for your love and true confessions. You've heard all of these before, okay? Um, again, I quite like the cover of that. It's quite nicely done. So hence I thought, oh well, you know, for under twenty-five pounds, I'll I'll have it, okay? So that's the front. That's the back. <laughs> I love it when they use the Casablanca logo on here. Always makes it look a little bit more. Oh, could this be official? Of course it's not. There you go. The Casablanca logo down there. Is it the thing? Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's quite a nice, um, quite nice, quite nicely done, I think. Um, sort of thing. So yeah, let me show you the inside. Uh, I think. There we are. So side one, side two. I used a rock and roll over kind of like. Uh, in a sleeve design for that one. Uh, I think this only comes in red vinyl, but uh, hey, I could be wrong. Uh, they might come in other colored vinyls and I'm sure they probably do, just to entice you to spend more money. Oh, I've got to get all six different colors. And before you know it, your bank balance is out the window. <laughs> okay, so that's first I drink and then I smoke. Just out of kiss Okay. Right, next up we have, okay, I've shown you these, I've shown these before, um, a couple of episodes, or maybe three episodes ago. Uh, Kiss Outtakes, okay, and this one is number three. I think I've shown you number one and two. And again, they're like demos and unreleased stuff, stuff you've heard, for, heard of before. A lot of these were taken from uh, Gene's Vault, I believe. Um, I think they will be stopping at number three. There might be a number four, who knows? Um, these bootleggers, they can make money, uh, they will make money. So there might be a four, but I haven't seen one. Okay, and this came out about eight months ago, maybe, something like that, six months ago. Um, let me show you the inside. Again, when you buy it, make sure, I've said this a million times, and I'm sure I'm repeating myself a million times, comes with the hype sticker. So when you buy this, make sure it comes with the outer plastic sleeve with the hype sticker. There you go, you see it? So obviously they've used um, the first album design for this one, um, but it's obviously in a different uh, different pose slightly. Likely done with outtakes one and two, obviously. So there you go, there's that. And there's the back. Would you like me to read the track listing out? Well, as I've done it for the others, I might as well do it for this one. Okay, so we've got Detroit Rock City, Mistake, Ain't the Smoke, Man of a Thousand Faces, Nightfly, Baby I'm a Star, You're All That I Want. Uh, I'd actually, You're All That I Want. I don't think I've heard a demo version of that. So that might be a reason to have this. Um, or a good reason to buy it. Uh, side two is She's Rotten to the Core. Uh, I'm Paralyzed. I, I Want to Live. Say You Don't Want It. Uh, minor Santa, Minor Sand. Oh, minor Sand, Minor Sand. I oh, don't know what that means. Uh, if it's too hot, you're too cold, and are you ready? Okay, so there you go. I'll show you the inside. Nicely done, this one. Obviously, it's uh, got the picture in a sleeve, so you've got all the lyrics. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Uh, okay, this one's green vinyl. Very nicely done. There we are. Picture of a reel to reel cartridge thing there. Remember reel to reels? Wow, they were. Um, they were a, quite a, a kind of like a quality item to have in your hi-fi system back in the day. I never had one because they're quite cumbersome, weren't they? So anyway, let's get this back in if I can get it back in. There you go. So um, I can't remember whether these whether these come in a different coloured vinyl, but uh, I've got the green vinyl. I think it is just green vinyl because that's all written in green. I haven't seen another other colours. So there you go. Okay. Kiss Outtakes 3. Okay, now we come to an older one. This has been out for a few years now. Uh, Kiss, uh, Psycho Circus World Tour Volume 1. Um, this is New Jersey, I think it's 1998, I believe. Yep, 22nd of November 1998, Continental Airlines Arena, East Rutherford, New Jersey, US of A. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who drew these, although I have seen worse. Uh, Gene looks like he's a bit lumpy down there. I think. Not the best drawing, but certainly not the worst. I've seen a lot worse. Um, 
but this is the Psycho Circus tour. Um, oh, special advance copy. Is it really? Is it really? <laughs> anyway, there you go. There's the front, and there's the back. Quite a nice design. I just wish they used a real picture of Kiss and not some drawing. Um, the quality is not bad. Uh, I have heard better, um, but it's okay. There you go, white vinyl. Uh, that's the uh, side. Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it, really? There you go. And then that side, the other side. Uh, it kind of looks semi official, but it's not. It's a bootleg, okay? Uh, I just love the way they put these little things like special advanced copy. Ooh, 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 I've got an advanced copy of a bootleg album. <laughs> so that's uh, Psycho Circus. World Tour Volume 1, which will lead me on the Psycho Circus um, World Tour Volume 2. <laughs> there we go, Volume 2. Again, they're just drawings of Kiss, they're not, uh, not real deal. Uh, well, that's, just, that's, that's a little bit better, but not by much. And um, Oh, incidentally, I have to say thank you. Thank you to Mr. Smith for letting me have these for a very, very cheap price. So that's good. Um, Otherwise, I wouldn't have paid. I think I've seen these go for about 30, 40 pounds on eBay for one. Um, Sop that, I wouldn't pay that much for it. Okay, uh, but that's just me. Okay. You might pay that, but I wouldn't, because I'm tight. <laughs> right, so there you go, there's the front. There's the back. And obviously this is volume two, so it's the second part of the concert. Uh, let's have a look, see what color. Ah, okay, I've got different color. I haven't looked at these for quite a long time. I can't remember what color they are, but this one, is a um, uh, like a brown marbly colour, okay? That's that. And there is that. Okay, so uh, yeah, there it is. Um, I don't generally co generally collect um, stuff after '83 because, as you well know, I only really collect uh, Kiss bootlegs or singles uh, LPs from. 73 to 83, the classic years, okay? But I thought, for the price I've paid for these now, I might as well have them, you know. Psycho Circus was quite a good period. You know, it's the first time that Kiss got back together, made an album, sort of thing. So it was quite kind of like an interesting period of my time, uh, seeing Kiss, collecting Kiss. Uh, although we did collect a lot of shit, because all the crap came back out again. All those shitty toys. Well, I thought they were shitty. You might like them, but um, kind of like all started again. And I wish I never bought half the shit that came out for Psycho Circus. Um, but uh, hey-ho, we all do silly things in life, don't we? So, um, but no. So Psycho Circus, I thought, was quite a good period. Then after 2000, <laughs> just my opinion. Anyway, there you go, guys. Front, back. And that just leads me to say au revoir, goodbye, until next time. I will try and get a Kiss uh, singles uh, thing going at some point. I've got some singles here, some nice ones, like, uh, oh, one of these, one of these bad boys. Not your reissues, by the way, not the reissue orange one. This is the original one, okay? Bollocks to your reissues. Ah, just my opinion. I'm only joking. Right, guys, um, see you soon. Look after each other and stay safe, and I will speak to you very soon. Adios.